They tell me that cat videos are popular on the internet. So I thought I'd post one to LinkedIn. You know I've been talking about AI lately, so how do I combine this topic of AI with a cat video Hi. so I can get a whole bunch of likes? Well, I thought I can test the ability of ChatGPT and Gemini to create a cat image. And so I picked a random cat image off of the internet, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna describe it to the best of my ability and determine how good each one of these models can replicate the picture as I describe it. It's actually a fun game. I would like you to draw a picture of a cat. The cat is sitting on what looks to be a sidewalk covered with pebbles. Uh, it's an angry looking cat and the cat's pretty fat. Now this fat, angry cat actually has on an orange sweater. That's probably why this cat is angry. Uh, I don't know why it's fat, but this orange sweater has red, white, and blue stripes around the sleeves and a red, white, and blue stripes around the neck of the sweater. The sleeves go about halfway up the cat's paws. The cat is gray, a solid gray color, but has white tips on his paws and a white nose and a white neck. The cat is sitting next to a, what looks to be a utility pole of some sort or casing that's green, looks like it might be metal. And if I'm looking at the cat picture, the um, green pole takes up the entire left side of the picture. Now in the background, there is a bush that's somewhat out of focus and that bush takes up the, I'd say the top eighth of the picture. And it, you know, there's a shallow depth of field so that bush is blurry. So can you draw that picture for me? Okay, I'm gonna take that transcription and paste it into ChatGPT and let's see what we get. Okay, so that is a fat cat and that is a gray cat and it does have on an orange sweater and it looks pretty angry and it's got this utility pole, but I never said that the utility pole had this red and white strip around it. Um, the sidewalk, it's got some pebbles on it and it's got a bush in the back, but I don't know that's the top eighth. So, you know, if I had to rate this in terms of accuracy, I'd probably give it a C. So let's take a look at Gemini and see if that can do better. Well, the cat doesn't look fat, uh, so that's a problem, but the pole is on the left-hand side, and I did describe it as a pole, so my bad. It's not really a pole, it's, you know, sort of this object. Um, the sweater is accurate, but, you know, the cat's really not fat enough, so otherwise it's a pretty photorealistic view compared to ChatGPT. ChatGPT looks a little bit more cartoonish, Gemini, it looks like a real photo. Maybe I can just ask it to make the cat fatter. Make cat fatter and it'll be closer to what I'm looking for. So it's clear that Gemini's pictures look a lot more photorealistic than ChatGPT's. That could have something to do with the fact that Google has all of our photos and they have YouTube. So they probably have a much better base of data to train on. At least that's my theory. So interesting exercise. There's nothing like a good cat video along with AI. Hopefully you enjoyed that. This is just to lighten the mood. Have a great day.